Today I've come to the newly refurbished Epine to meet with super lawyer Mark Yaffe. I want to find out a little bit more about Mark, uh, how he got so successful. He's well known around town, I'm sure many of you will know him. But also, I've come to try Epine's new champagne and cheese board, which looks quite delightful. <laughs> Cleco means? No. It means widow Cleco. Uh, the husband died and the widow took over. Uh, and I think she was the first one to export it. But yeah, she always said she'd keep the name widow Cleco and wow. she'd never marry again. No good for family law then, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to talk to you today about JMW, yourself, your career. But perhaps we should start with the important thing is and what team do you support? I'm a Man United fan. Are you really? I am. Okay. It's fair to say, sports are a big part of your life, aren't they? And you've always been involved in it and you're doing more in it commercially now as well. My client base is split in two. Entrepreneurs on one side, sports stars on the other. Right. And the reason uh, I think um, I have those two client bases is because they're actually very similar in the right. way that they think, the way they perform. Uh, and it just makes it very easy to deal with those two uh, in the same way. You've started something new now with Barn Door, haven't you? A lot of entrepreneurs in Manchester um, they have great ideas, great concepts, but struggle to get either funding or to get that brand out there, that brand awareness. At the same time, um, we had a lot of sports stars that were coming to the end of their career or had already retired and were struggling to, to um, find what to do next. Right. And so we'd, we decided to try and, and really put the two together. You are a dating site now, that's it. That's it. I am. Talking of dating, did I not just see a, a celebration the other day of you uh, and your fine, beautiful fiance having a party? The, the first message I got was actually from my mother. And uh, I think she sent me a picture of Jason punching the footballer basically to say I'm punching above my weight. So, oh. so thanks, mother, for that. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Lewis is a. Uh... Hello, gentlemen. Hi. Hello. This Make looks... some delicious champagne. It'd be rude not to. Absolutely. When Why not? As we are in the uh, champagne <laughs> bar. What have you got for us? So today we have Bruno Payard, which is a very young, modern champagne house. Well, we're young and modern. That's obviously why he's picked it. Yeah. So Bruno Payard is a is a Pinot Noir forward champagne. So it's nice and full bodied, um, really easy to drink. Well, well, here's to your um, your engagement, I should say. Thank you very Congratulations. much. Congratulations, and Shane Dominique isn't here to tell us how to drink it properly. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Very nice. That is very nice. That's very nice. It's so smooth to drink. Mm. Epinay is great. It's um, I mean I know it's been refurbished and they've changed one or two things and it, it, it looks fantastic. And uh, have you ever have you ever actually drank champagne in the uh, the sunset on the balcony? I haven't yet, but uh, if that's an offer, I'll it's, take you. It's, it's pretty good. You so. When it comes to being successful, and you are successful, and I, I see you out and you've got beautiful people around you, you're doing a great career, you're working hard, you, you, you're playing hard. What, what principles do you live by? Yeah, I think work is, work is my control mechanism uh, because I am ambitious, but I'm also passionate about the work we do. So that's my control mechanism. And work comes first. If, if everything in work is going as I hope, and we set ourselves very ambitious targets, uh, and I demand a lot from the team because they're very capable, but if everything is right and work, then I'm quite happy to, you know, right. clock off early one Friday, maybe with a client or maybe with some potential clients and go and, go and enjoy myself. Hello, gentlemen. Hey. Here are some cheeses to be paired with your delectable champagne. Okay. So on your left, you have Vignot, which is a cheese from the Champagne region. Uh, really creamy, with a nice lemon finish to it. It'll pair excellent with the champagne. Uh, as well, you have a Gaperon, slightly more spicier with black pepper and garlic uh, cheese. Uh, but again, will work beautifully with, with the champagne. It's good that we have JMW, right? A multi-million pound, Manchester born and bred legal firm, very established now. But there is a hell of a lot of consolidation in this market. There always has been. Yeah. And there's some big players hitting Manchester. Yeah. How is JMW is it going to deal with this new breed of super competitor that's coming in globally, moving into the city? I think I think we have to use our Manchester roots. We have to use the relationships that we've built in Manchester. Um, and we have to continue to provide an excellent service. So, okay, come on. I know you're not going to give me too much, but I'm going to push. Next five years, JMW, new cities, new countries, international business, where are you going to be? Give okay. me some predictions. Um, I think JMW will stay a Manchester firm. Uh, right. I think it, it becomes very, very difficult if you branch out into other cities to, to keep that culture. Um, so I think we will, we will grow, but we will grow in Manchester. Um, I can't see us um, growing into other cities. Now, I'm not the decision maker now, um, 
but that's my, my feeling. Personally, um, I've spent the last 12, 15 months building what I consider to be a, an exceptional litigation team. Uh, I want to watch them flourish. So what do you think? I like it. Are you a cheese, are you a cheese and wine sort of guy? Yeah, but not together. <laughs> I like Inspirational cheese and I like wine. Right? Inspirational characters, right? Just name me three, if you can, characters in Manchester. People that you think, I'm looking at you and I'm thinking, I, I, would, I would read your book. Okay. I'd like to come for a dinner with you. Three people in Manchester that have really blown, blown your mind. Okay, I'm going to say number one, and you'll think this is self-serving. It isn't, but my senior partner, Joy Kingsley. Um, purely because um, she is a mentor to me in many ways. She is my boss. So, you know, like any boss, um, you know, I get told what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. But just the way that she has built law firms in the past, the way she's helped build j and now, um, she's relentless in her pursuit of her objectives. And I think she's the one individual that's taught me so much right. in such a short space of time. Um, and she's the go the, the, my go-to person for, for any advice I need. So, so that's your promotion side out. So now that's the not other promotion, two. that's <laughs> honesty. Um, number two, um, I'm going to have to say Karina, um, right. because I've known Karina for a while. She actually introduced Dominique and I to each other, so she, she's okay. got to take some credit. Um, but again, just, um, you know, she had, um, she had a remarkable success with her initial venture at Neighbourhood. Uh, and, and to go and do it again and, and do it with her own twist, uh, in her own way, and, and actually be pretty headstrong in what she wanted. And I know it's early days, but the signs are all good. Third. Gary Neville. And the reason why is because I grew up as a Man United fan and there were some fabulous players. Gary was not one of them. Yet, yet, the transition from elite footballer in the most successful period of that football club's history to now a very credible and established entrepreneur and businessman, yeah. Yeah. all in Manchester, just shows a thing, uh, and again, um, the power of, of, of elite sportsmen coming into business. Uh, if you really care about Manchester and you want the city to grow, we have to embrace pioneers. We have to also understand that these people could go elsewhere and invest their money. We've heard, you know, over the years of, um, you know, millionaires, billionaires moving to Monaco, moving elsewhere. We want that money staying here. And I think, you know, if you were that ex-premiership footballer and you're committed to investing and improving Manchester, that has to be applauded. Well, Mark, it's been great to catch up with you. Thank Over you. champagne and cheese. Thanks Thank very you. much. Take care.